got our, our leak detection system. I'll show you. Um, I've got um, our test uh, our test gas set up. So uh -huh. um, we've got the alarm and the strobe uh, unplugged at the moment because okay. that's just like jarring. <laughs> um, but I'll show you how it all works without okay. the anxiety. Um, so this system uh, uses Modbus, so it's a little bit uh, slow. You can see that was the refresh rate. Um, all three of the chillers are located in monitor one, and so we can use um, we can use the D pad to uh, go into uh, go into the uh, the area. There we go. And then this is going to show us our parts per million on chiller one, chiller two, chiller three. Um, we can only set it up uh, as either 4, 8, 12, or 16. So um, this bottom one, don't worry about that. It isn't reading anything. All right. Um, if there are alarms, we just need to uh, scroll down. And again, there it goes. We'll uh, go into alarms. It'll find the data. There's nothing there currently, but if there were, we'd be able to enter into that. And then to acknowledge it, we just tap the left arrow. Okay. And so um, I'll show you what that looks like. How do you shut off the uh, alarm when it's going off? Um, so there's uh, the silence button. Okay. So um, when it goes off, we're not supposed to be in there. Exactly. So um, will it reset automatically? It does. So um, the once you silence the alarm, that that um, portion of it will turn off. Um, you can also use the alarm silence uh, while set that up. And then uh, what will happen is this alarm uh, light will still flash. Once and you silence the alarm, will it go back and alarm again? Like, like me, dummy comes up here and pushes sure. alarm silence because it's going off. Sure. Don comes up here. He doesn't know I just did that. Sure. Is it going to go off again? If there is, uh, if uh, so essentially it kind of measures in a cycle, so it checks chiller one, uh, then it checks chiller two, then chiller three. Um, if there's an alarm on any one of those chillers, that alarm will exist. You can silence it, but the alarm light will still be flashing until okay. it goes through an entire cycle and reads um, below our alarm limits. Okay. Cool? So um, we can turn off the horn, but um, the alarm light will continue to illuminate until uh, the sensors read, you know, a safe parts per million. Okay. Um, so I'll show you what um, uh, an alarm looks like. Uh, while I'll set up um, the sensors, they're essentially a uh, caddy corner, but you can see one just uh, straight out. It's just that kind of pill filter. Uh, Is there just three of them? There are six of them. So there's uh, one on uh, one for each chiller on the back side, and then um, on this uh, like the front left corner, there's uh -huh. one uh, right here, and then so there's six in total. That's just a test bottle, right? Yeah, yeah. So is I'm, that uh, actual refrigerant or what is that? It's um. What is it? It's tetrafluorothane and air. <laughs> so I'm not positive if that's actually the refrigerant, but uh, yeah, probably the, the um. What's inside of it? Yeah, the, the yeah, what's inside it? I don't. Yeah, I doubt that it's actually refrigerant. So um, I'll just plug this in. So um, you'll see we're actually on chiller one right now. So we may or may not see the alarm initially. So it just read 10, and I think it's because it picked it up late. But this is the cycle that I was talking about. So it's going to be checking chiller two now. Uh -huh. We have a leak on chiller one that we've simulated. But it's not going to register that until it's completed a full cycle. All right. What's the fault up there, the fault code? Oh, uh, there is no fault. Um, it'll count the alarms here, and 
if the, there's like a, a library of, of fault codes. But so you disable the bells so we don't have to sit here and listen to bells. Yeah, uh, I so. think Lyle has the, uh, the relays pulled off. Okay. Um, and this goes to the, uh, the fan and the so, um, enable relay, so. So it goes to the enable relay of the chiller itself. It doesn't exactly. go. It doesn't go into the BMS. Correct. Yeah, there, it's okay. not connected to the BMS. At so all. you can actually have one chiller uh, go off, and the rest of them are running. Um, it should cut off all three. The way that the schematic uh, looks, we're landed on one relay, and that uh, will fire um, all three. Um, you got S build diagrams where it's. On the enabled? Yeah. It's on the S builds. Yeah. So here in a second, um, so it's sampling. Like I mentioned, four is uh, is nothing. Yeah. You can only set it up as what uh, it, four, eight, twelve, or sixteen. What it was doing uh, yesterday was buzzing and shaking the whole box, and you know the motor was going off. On this? Yeah. So that's what it was doing yesterday. Oh, I did see the, the buzzing when I, I first got here. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure where Lyle had left it um, or if he was here yesterday. So when it takes a sample, mm -hmm. does it just take, does it go around all six places? It is. So, um, or does it take two at one time on chiller? Two at one time on the chiller. So it's looking at both of those values. It's um, just like a, a T. Right. Um, what are those T uh, connectors? So you have it going off as a refrigerant thing right now, right? Yeah. So and it'll be on chiller one. So it's looking at um, our imaginary fourth one at the moment. Okay. So we're going to get an alarm, but we should have the strobe and the horn unplugged uh, for training. <laughs> So it's reading. It's still reading. There it is. So it registers as a spill, and, alarm, and we get the yeah. alarm and uh, and the light. So um, I'm just gonna turn the gas off because we don't need that. Cool. And then let's go back out to the monitor panel because we won't want to be in here if there were a problem, right? Right. On, uh, on our remote display, we can see uh, that we had the 38 uh, parts per million read. We can see that our alarm is uh, is on, so we'll press the silence button. That means that it's acknowledged a human has, in fact, interacted with this. And so um, we can see it's currently looking at chiller three since it's flashing. And when it comes back to here, okay, so we're checking chiller one now. It's going to cycle through and it's going to read, you know, close to zero because we've uh, turned off the gas. And we should see, since we've acknowledged the alarm, uh, the light should turn. So once it goes through its check, it's all done. The alarm, the audible alarm will go off and the light will go off yep. and then it'll reset. So is there a history to it? Yeah, totally, there's trends. Oh, 
Oh yeah, so it's in purging currently. Alarm event log. What's the threshold? What's the alarm? Um, so it's looking for uh, 250 parts per million for a uh, spill and 500 parts per million for like an evacuation. Like it's a, and that will put the exhaust fan in high. If it's um, at 250, I think it uh, turns on the exhaust fan. Um, so 250. Yeah, is a threshold. exactly. And so uh, uh, L stands for leak, S stands for spill. So these were some of the my tests earlier on the unit uh, prior to calibrating it. Um, oh yeah, you can see leak, spill evacuate. And since uh, the, the value we got was 33, it registered as a spill. So there is an exhaust fan that comes on in there? Yes. Does that actually work? Um, I have not tested that yet. Uh, we haven't wired it up. Um, but you can see the, the chiller parts per million went down to two. I thought we acknowledged our alarm. From what you were saying before, that alarm flashing should go off, right? Yeah, when we acknowledge it, I'm not sure that it fully acknowledged. It says acknowledged. Acknowledged. So you did utilize part of this old cabinet then? Uh, this one? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Lyle said that there was a lot, uh, there was a lot more functionality than uh, the proposed replacement. Is this uh, rele relevant here in case of emergency break glass? Yeah. So there are, there are glass um, covers on each one of those. They are uh, normally closed contacts, I believe, and so if we break that, um, the button will push out and open, um, and so that'll uh, shut the chillers down, and uh, this will turn the exhaust fan on. I can just see Ron over there tapping on that glass. So where's the key for the ventilation override? Oh, for this, I have no idea. Um, you'll have to ask Lyle oh, if that's uh, if that. Works. Yeah. <laughs> 
Here you can see uh, the trend data. Um, and essentially, we get a dotted line that's the cursor. And so we can see the parts per million are registered here. That's already broke, you can't fix it. I know, it keeps saying that we've got a spill. How much should we pay for this again? Too much? Okay, just check it. They don't give me the details. I have a roundabout, but that's it. Yeah, let's go check the other unit. I've been working. 